We had a very, very successful uh, in the last five years, and the opportunity in the independent fiduciary wealth management space is uh, terrific. So uh, we thought we need to have uh, a public currency, we need to have access to the capital that we have as a public uh, company, and uh, it's a great um, you know, building for the future. Yeah. How do you think things are going to change now for you, the way you're going to run your business as a publicly traded entity? Well, obviously our responsibility is to our shareholders, um, but also to our partners. And Focus is built on an um, excellent group of partners, value added and access to capital. And as a public company, these uh, you know, opportunities are even larger. Yeah. How about the market in general, just uh, going public at, the, at, at where we are kind of in yeah. the cycle? How the markets look to you? Well, it was obviously a terrific opportunity. The IPO market is red hot. Um, and uh, I think we had a very differentiated and unique offering, which is why we were very well received. Woody, can you tell me the difference between your desired investor base yep. and what's likely to materialize? Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> well, we chose our investors yeah, very carefully. Yeah, it's the, the one point in the history of a public company. Yeah, at the IPO, you can choose your investor base. And uh, we were very pleased with the quality of but these investors. What, what were you looking for in well, an investor? We wanted to have a perfect, uh, kind of as close to perfect fit between uh, long-term uh, investors who are well-informed and understand our story. Um, we have some very unique uh, sovereign investors who came in in the IPO already. And uh, quite frankly, a number of hedge funds here that are known for their depths of analysis and being long-term strategic holders. <laughs> Our Bob Pisani uh, points out in, in some notes, and he's been following um, your company, that the stock price below the range. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that um, investors in some respects have, have had a hard time sort of figuring out what your growth trajectory is, is going to be? Yeah, we are very unique. Yeah, there's never been an IPO in the wealth management space. Yeah. And so it's hard to compass. Having said that, yeah, this is more of the most successful, actually it's the most successful large um, financial services IPO since 2014. So the reception in the market has been outstanding. And um, you know, quite frankly, the story is definitely resonating. Yeah, you, you grow through acquisition as you, you have been doing? Well, it is uh, a good mix between you know, same store growth of our partner firms of about 10% and then you know, very significant growth through uh, transactions that the holding company does. What do you think the wealth management business looks like 10 years from now? Well, I mean, do you think it's even? Do you think there's even human beings going to be involved in this? Oh, absolutely, because ultimately the service that we provide to our partners, yeah, uh, to our clients, yeah, is ultimately so close to, you know, how their family operates. Yeah, it's so important how they invest their money. This will not get replaced by computers, and uh, quite frankly, the lack of success of robo advisors, yeah, is a testament to the strengths of the personal relationships yeah, that uh, advisors have. Most importantly, there is this tectonic shift away from the traditional brokers and wirehouses yeah, who are operating under the low suitability standard to the fiduciary standard yeah, that registered investment advisors are held to, which is the highest standard of advice yeah, that a client can expect. I think you partly are alluding to sort of a discussion about active versus passive. I think there's an active versus passive, whether that even works anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I also think there's the just the human to human yeah, sure. connection, and whether that sure and the technology disruptions. I mean, most people yeah. are very surprised yeah. that there hasn't been more disruption in, yeah. wealth ma in asset management in general. Yeah, yeah, um, you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah, this move towards uh, yeah, index and passive enhanced uh, index strategies, but we are wealth manager. Yeah, wealth managers really are first and foremost planners take a holistic view at uh, your financial needs. And money management is part of what we do, but the overall service that we provide as financial planners is so much broader and will not be replaced by computers anytime soon.